All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see every one of you here. My name is Alex from MarketWise Asia. Good to see every one of you here at about 11.30 p.m. at night. All right, so today is 21st of April, 2021. Just do a very quick mic test. If you guys can hear me loud and clear, just say a hi to me in the comments. I'll be looking at you guys in the comments. All right, good evening, Gary. Good evening, Avery. Good evening, Kapil. Good evening, Jess. Good to see everyone of you here. All right. So, oh, by the way, I cannot stand my hair. I think it's getting very long already. So, I'm getting a haircut on on uh, Friday. So, I hope I will look better to you guys after Friday. That's next week. All right. Hello, Dor. Hello, Gerard. Good to see everyone of you here. So, uh, just wait for a few moments before we kick start. Hello, Vico. Oh, by the way, tomorrow I'm meeting. Uh, Rainer and Jay, yes, Rainer Teo. Rainer Teo is a good friend of mine, so just uh, going to meet him up after the Market Insights Virtual Summit, just have a chit chat, just have a meal together. All right, so if you guys have any question that you want me to ask them, all right, please let me know in the comments. I will ask on behalf of you guys, all right? <laughs> So if any question to ask Rainer, if any, any question to ask Jay, uh, please type in the chat box. All right. Okay. Hello, Austin. Hello, Christopher. Hello, uh, Nelson. Hello, JJ. All right. I'm not Sifu. Lah, okay. I'm just a normal guy just doing my Facebook live. All right. Hello, Wheeling. So uh, actually yesterday, I tried to do a YouTube live because right now, my StreamYard account is linked to Facebook and YouTube as well. So right now, uh, if you look at MarketWise Asia YouTube account, you will see that I'm doing this live as well. All right, so just let me go through this thing first. Huh? Let me add to stream. Okay, so yeah, this is MarketWise Asia YouTube account. Hello, Brian. Okay, so if you guys uh, hasn't subscribed, haven't subscribed to our channel, it's pretty new. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Hello, Jonathan. All right, so today I'm going to focus on the tobacco company, all right, mainly uh, Altria and Philip Morris. So yesterday I actually do a YouTube live late at night, just do a random test. Lah. So I think uh, doing Facebook live is better than the YouTube. For at this moment in time okay so before i go through the market uh just go dive straight into this uh, news over here so i think it's two days ago all right so there's this news this news over here where's the news all right go to yahoo over here okay so tobacco stocks drops as us may may curb nicotine in secrets huh? okay blah 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 i can just go and read it all right so in short, all right. If you search, if you search this uh, tobacco news, right, you will see uh, all the news that's been pop up. All right, over here. Hello, Kai. All right. So tobacco shares slides, tobacco stocks drop. You know, uh, tobacco firms may feel the heat and all these uh, kind of stories, lah. So the two very so-called uh, main companies, tobacco companies that's listed on the US, I think is these two company called the uh, Altria. Altria is a uh, ticker MO and Philip Morris. That is a PM. Okay, so of course the, the news is this. Uh, for, the, for those who just joined over here, right now we have over 50 plus people in this Facebook Live. These tobacco stocks drops as US may cut nicotine. All right, uh, fun fact, fun fact uh, number two. Uh, Philip Morris, okay, Philip Morris, although it is listed in the US, it doesn't sell secrets in the US, okay? All right, and Altria, Altria, all right, sells the product in the US through an alliance. So what do I mean by that? If you go to uh, Altria, it's the Altria website, all right? So can you see uh, they own, actually they own Philip Morris USA. So they own the Philip Morris US. Huh? All right. And they also own Philip Morris Capital Corporation. Okay. So just an interesting fun fact for you guys. And 
So, of course, if you took look at the chart yesterday, so for Philip Morris, uh, so let's go to MO, this is MO, MO right here. So MO, right, yesterday dropped, uh, I think, negative 3.85%. Uh, Initially, it was more, all right, so I think dropped about 6%, if, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so if you take a look at the chart over here, actually, Philip Morris, uh, they, it already dropped 6% the day before the news release uh. so it means that there there was already insider news uh. insiders already knew the news already and they sell off the stocks before the news came today i see after that uh, okay so you see over here right this bar over here and there's also a highly uh more volume over here and of course this sell off there's a huge rally as in huge volume sell off over here all right, and then uh, Philip Morris, okay, coincide with the earnings yesterday. All right, so uh, uh, they beat the earnings. So actually, Philip, Mor Philip Morris doesn't actually go down. In fact, it, it rarely instead uh, today kept on going higher. All right, so so uh, so what do you think of this uh, news? Uh, as mentioned already, so this tobacco stocks drops, right? So do you think it's a, it's a good news or bad news for these tobacco companies? <laughs> All right, so just uh, type in your comments, just share with me, engage with me. So is it good or bad? What do you, what do you guys think? If you, if you don't look at the stock market, like, as in just purely from a consumer perspective, do you think it's a good news or bad news for these two companies, Altria or for Philip Morris, these two companies? All right, if you say it's good, type good. If you think it's bad, you can just... Uh, type back in the comments or just take a sip of water. All right. No difference, huh? okay? Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, I was a smoker, huh? I was a smoker, okay? So I used to spec about, I used to smoke about one to two packs per day. That was during army, huh? so after army, I also continue for a, a few years, okay? So yes, Danny say they will still smoke, maybe smoke more. Yes, so uh, as, a, as a smoker, an ex-smoker, uh, I, I knew exactly how a, a, a smoker feel, okay? And how they react. If you are addicted to cigarette, no matter how expensive the cigarette is, uh, you still smoke one, uh, okay? So you can see in Singapore, one pair of cigarettes, I don't know how much now, I think is it $12, $15 when I was smoking back then in 20, maybe 2004, 2005, that kind of period of time, you know, one pair of cigarettes is about nine to $10 per pack, okay? Per pack. So if you are a heavy smoker, you continue to smoke one, okay? That's the fact. And how come nobody asked me, how come I, I, can, I am able to, to quit smoking? Are you guys interested to know or not? <laughs> Actually, I do. Actually, uh, I'm not that heavily addicted to cigarettes. Uh. In fact, I can, you know, sort of uh, stop anytime that I want, if I want to. Uh. Of course, I still feel the urge, but if I really don't want to smoke, I can do that. Uh. So I don't really have a, a, a withdrawal uh, symptoms. I don't have withdrawal symptoms. So I can actually uh, just stop anytime I want. So to have that really withdrawal symptoms. But I, I, do, I do feel the urge, uh, okay? I think because of the often nicotine, I have the urge, but it's not that serious. And of course, you know, um, my girlfriend, now it's my wife, <laughs> uh, doesn't like me to smoke. So I just uh, just quit smoking, you know, simple as that, just quit. Okay? But, you know, uh, I quit smoking doesn't mean that I don't know how to smoke. <laughs> it's just like riding a bicycle. Once you know how to ride a bicycle, you know how to ride a bicycle for the rest of your life, huh? okay? So even though I don't smoke now, I still know how to smoke. Okay, <laughs> right, just I don't smoke now. Huh? Okay, anyway, uh, just a side track. Huh? Okay, so my opinion is that my opinion is that uh, actually, by the way, Danny, uh, you say don't mix with people who smoke. Uh. Actually, sometimes people who smoke are quite interesting. Uh. <laughs> All right, uh, just my just some some fact. Uh. Okay, I, I think you, you should know also. Uh, okay, you used to smoke. Uh, right? So yeah, so number four, all right. If you try to curb 
nicotine, right? People will buy more cigarettes, right? You put so little nicotine in the cigarettes, right? They don't get the kick. So naturally, you know, if they cannot get the same feel, all right, they cannot satisfy them, they'll buy more cigarettes. Ah. Am I right to say that or not? Am I right to say that? So they'll, they'll just buy more, buy more. So in fact, <laughs> just, just helping a child I'll try and feel more, more risk to increase their revenue or increase their profits, right? And if you buy more secrets and if the government try to you know, uh, curb all this sort of thing, the nicotine, right? If they cannot get it through the normal market, they'll go to the black market, lah, okay? This will intensify uh, this uh, black market even more, okay? So this is just my view over here. Okay, let's go to the uh, chart over here. Okay, Philip Morris is not exactly my focus. Uh. So if you look at the weekly chart, okay, if you like weekly chart, so it is more like uh, in a very big range over here. I hope you guys can see in a very big range. So it is quite volatile. This is a weekly chart, which means that every bar represents five days. Okay, so one week. Huh? What I'm going to focus is on this Philip, uh, not Philip Morris, is this on Outrier MO. MO. I actually mentioned on uh, MO, I'll try, I think, uh, a number of Facebook live back. Uh. So the reason I know I'll try is because price was in a downtrend, okay, for, 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 for a number of years really, all right? Since uh, 2017, 2017, it was in a downtrend. And only this year, 2021, price break above the Ichimoku cloud, all right? So for those who are new to MarketWise Asia, I use this indicator called the Ichimoku cloud to help me determine the trend, to help me quantify the trend, okay? I feel this has been pretty useful to me, all right? So when price broke above the cloud over here, that was in January, I actually wanted to buy into our trail, but I was thinking, you know, holding back, Tarek, holding back, said, hey, is it real that, you know, this, uh, uh, our trial is going to have a real uptrend soon uh, because there are many other stocks that 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 were in a uptrend already. For example, tech stock and all this stuff. Right? So, is it really true that you know this is this this breakout, this uh, this new uptrend is real? So I hesitated. Uh, so I hesitated for a while. <laughs> Price just uh, you know rarely or quite quite a bit really. So this rarely was uh, let me see. This rarely was twenty five percent. Uh, quite substantial uh, within this year only. Uh. So because of the news yesterday, so price has a huge drop for the past two days. So if you have been following my Facebook Live, I mentioned uh, quite a number of times that on a daily time frame, right? Uh, the last line of support on a daily time frame is the S1 support level, the pivot level support. Huh? So the pivot level support is over here. Can you see over here? All right, this, this line over here, obviously this line. So, price actually fell right smack into the S1 level and then rebounded up. So actually yesterday, I actually wanted to buy into our trailer, uh, but you know, I'm holding back is because uh, of the earnings that's coming up on the 29th. That's, that is less than uh, one week away. So I hesitated, but you know, because of that, you know, I didn't enter, eventually I didn't enter. So uh, price actually uh, climbed up higher today. Same for Philip Morris, okay? So I've limited capital, uh, so quite a number of, of my capital is already in, into other stocks already. So I didn't enter into uh, MO. So, but if you want to go for long-term play, I think uh, our trailer is a uh, good, still pretty good to me. You know, this this long-term option is still intact. Okay, you see over here. So uh, there's a rally over here, impulse move, and then there's a pullback. And this pullback hit right smack into this, uh, Camarilla level three pivot, okay. And if you take a look at the yearly pivot, huh, okay, the reason why I like it was because you know price actually uh, was supported at this yearly pivot over here, over here, and also the money pivot. That was why I like I like it back then, okay. So, uh, well, by the way, whatever I say today is just for informational purpose, all right. Alex is a clown. Alex is always wrong. Please don't copy me. All right, whatever I say is just for it's, it's not recommendation to tell you what to buy or sell. Huh? All right, for this, for any stock that I'm talking about for today. All right, so this is the chart that I'm more interested in today for the uh, I'll try it. for Philip Morris. Wise, right? Um, 
nothing much to say about. So basically, on a daily time frame, it has been going up since then. So this is also more like a, a, a uptrending stocks. Okay, so let me see the market in our let me take a look. Okay, uh, stock code over here. All right, so this is a consumer defensive. Okay, it's under uh, consumer staple. So same for MO. All right. So it's no matter times good or bad, you know, people will still need to smoke. If they want to smoke, they will buy a smoke one. Simple as that. Okay. So Philip Morris wise, yep, um, nothing much to say. So it has been in an uptrend. All right. Ah, I saw someone from YouTube, uh, Latte Cafe. All right. Good to see you. <laughs> Yeah, right now, uh, for those who are new to Market Watch Asia, I'm streaming this Facebook Live as well simultaneously onto YouTube as well. All right, so, yep. Bad time smoke more, <laughs> really. Bad time smoke more. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, yes, so that's what I'm to talk about for today. And yeah, one interesting to note that this thing is this, there's this ETF core device, right? Very interesting ETF device. Uh, of course, you know, vice what industry do you think it is in all right in the vice market lah, okay so let's go to take a look at this uh etf so uh where's the did i put in my tab all right never mind so go to etf all right dot com and then you go and search vice all right interesting etf huh all right so let me zoom in. Okay, so this by the issuer is by advisor share. Uh, this is a relatively new ETF. The inception date was in 2017. And the AUM, the assets under management, actually is very little. It's only 13 million, one three, one three million. Huh? So besides that, all right, let's take a look at what vice uh, this fund, this ETF is about. All right. So vice is an actively managed fund that invest in US companies that involve in alcohol, right, tobacco, FMB, and gaming related activities. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, holdings over here. Top 10 holdings. Is it over here? Oh, is it because I didn't, I zoom in already. Let me see. Uh, top 10 holdings. Not sure why I can't see the top 10 holding over here. Let me reload again. Huh? Hmm, something is wrong today. But anyway, all right, can you see that the uh, top 10, right, doesn't have, the top 10 don't have these uh, Altroy and Philip Morris because the top 10 is about 47 percent so it's mainly the fm fmb uh, the beer company alcohol company right boston beer right gaming company also and actually just now i went to this uh vice right i can actually went in and see it so actually uh ultra and philip morris is inside but only a very small percentage i think it's only less than one percent each i think it's about 0 0.69 percent about that okay so ultra and philip morris is actually inside okay so actually, if you take a look at this, uh, the chart for Vice, huh? because, because, all right, because the, the uh, AUM is pretty small, all right, it's only, the, it's only 13 million, all right, so the price action is actually not very fluid, huh? can you see the price action over here, the, the candles, huh? it's not, no, no jagger, jagger, that kind, it's not, doesn't really have a good price action flow, okay? So, but nevertheless, uh, I just want to ask you to focus on that. Let's see, take a look at this. Uh, okay, remove the yearly pivot. All right, take a look at the weekly chart. Okay, all right, it's going very well. Okay, since the COVID sell off, uh, all right, so vice has been up all the way also uh, since the low, and it's up about hundred and twenty percent or to the high. Uh. So, if you go to the daily time frame. Even though it doesn't have a very good price action flow, it, it surprisingly it still respect the CPR pretty well. Okay, you see price hit the CPR rebounded, 
hit the CPR rebounded, hit the CPR rebounded, hit the CPR rebounded, hit the CPR rebounded. Not this month, hit the CPR rebounded, hit the CPR rebounded, hit the CPR rebounded, hit the CPR rebounded. Okay, <laughs> respect pretty well, huh? okay. And then uh, at the S1 level, also rebounded over here. So right now, today, it is also at somewhere near the CPR, but didn't hit. So today, actually rebounded also, okay. So interesting, interesting. So uh, it is up to you to tell, to decide how to trade this Vice or the uh, Philip Morris or the Altroyer. I Just to give you some trade ideas, you can take a look at this uh, Vice, okay. And uh, by the way, for this, uh, this uh, ETF, uh, okay, so it's also inside this spreadsheet that I mentioned, okay. Uh, if I'm new to Market Wise Asia, I have this spreadsheet where I track all the uh, big ETF industry, for example, aerospace, agriculture, and all this stuff. Like, I also actually add, added inside this uh, vice recently, right? So I'm keeping adding more and more and more things. Uh, so this is a very good uh, list, in my opinion. So you can track all the big industry using via ETF. So if you are new to Market Wise Asia, do join our do join our uh, Market Watch Asia Telegram channel. You can see, you should be able to see the link in your screen over here. So if you haven't joined, right, let me give you the link over here. Oh, it's not here. Let me, wait, uh, give me a moment, let me type out and give you. All right, if you are already using Telegram, right? You can just search for Market Wise Asia. Right? So the link I posted in the comments, you should, I will post the ETF spreadsheet link again inside the Telegram channel later once again, all right? All right, so uh, any question so far? Hmm, let me take a look at the comments. Huh? Smoking, smoking, uh, we don't want to smoke weeds instead. Good for options. Yes, okay. Uh, okay. Jijin is asking, how do I place the entry at the pivot level or the day after the bounce? You mean for our trader or for, or for any stocks? All right. Let's say, for example, our trail. Yesterday, I wanted to enter, but in the end, I didn't. Okay. So, the reason why I want to enter is very simple because it is as at an S1 level. Okay. And yesterday, uh, price had a huge volume. This is more like a climatic sell off. Lah. So, to me, it seems like, you know, people are actually uh, accumulating these, these stocks. Lah, okay. So, there's a sell off over here. Okay. So, and there's no trigger, lah. so there's no wash and rinse trigger to enter or break previous day high to enter. So basically, I just to enter that day, okay, like yesterday, but I didn't enter. So actually, even if I today want to enter, so uh, you could also, but um, for me, I want to, to use my capital into other stocks, lah. so I, I won't be entering uh, our trail at this moment in time, okay. Even if I enter, it'll be more for a swing trade, okay. Digital are still there. So at the pivot level, yes, at the pivot level, I will normally try to have a trigger, for example, the wash and rinse trigger, or can just be simply break the previous day high and the, if it hit the pivot level close enough. All right. Uh, ah, Victor, is it? Use Firefox browser, but just now I used the Chrome. It was working fine, All right? So just don't know what happened to this right now. Okay, Brian, Brian, or just to mention uh, Brian, okay, uh, are you holding Tesla? Okay, by the way, I, I actually uh, saw my Tesla yesterday when I saw this candle over here. And because yesterday, for the past few days, the price action wasn't that, that, that bullish. Uh. So I was thinking, hey, mm, my default trade is swing trade. Uh. So for Tesla, I risk one R, okay, I risk one R. I've already, at this point in time, I really got about one hour already. Okay, so I was just thinking, I just might, I just take it off the table because I, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm really not sure how the market will react for the next few days. Of, of course, today I know that market is, was, the market is very bullish, but for the past few days, market was indeed a bit bearish, so I don't know uh, how the market will react. So I, I intended 
to, to take profit. That's why I already exited Tesla. But today, uh, it rebounded again. So this was actually uh, pretty bullish to me. And if you know, Brian, uh, this is actually a wash and rinse also. Uh. This is a wash and today is a rinse bar. Right? This is a wash and right now it's a rinse bar. Okay. If I want to enter, I could enter again, once again. Okay. But I think I will skip Tesla. All right. Uh, if you're talking about the market today, all right, uh, market is very bullish. Huh? So NASDAQ, okay, take a look. All right. All right, found support at this level over here. This is a Camarilla uh, level four support. Okay, and then S&P 500 also the same at this Camarilla support also. Dow is at the level three Camarilla level support over here. So for the past, Three, one, two, three days market was bearish today, suddenly become very bullish again. Okay, so at this moment in time, market, as I mentioned in my past Facebook Live, the market is a bit overextended. So um, I would prefer to see a pullback, but if the market doesn't want to do a pullback, there's, there's nothing I can do. Also, okay, so right now I'm still holding on to my position, my swing trade position, so I'm not adding, adding any more position. Okay. So some of my position are still doing pretty okay in, in profits. So because of today's bullishness. Okay. So yep, I was, I'll be just holding on to my position. I, I'm not, I will not be adding into new position at this moment in time. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Pauline. Okay. Oh, talking about CCJ. Huh? Okay. For those who has been following me. All right. So you, if you guys know, right, uh, I actually took profit from UEC. Okay, I exited UEC, huh? all right? So I've been riding this UEC since over here already, this part over here, riding here. Huh? So yesterday, price actually um, break below the CPR, all right? So I actually, not to yesterday, I think it's the day before, break below the CPR over here. Can you see this bar over here? All right, so I think uh, I've ride long enough for this really. So I've already exited the UEC, uranium, huh? But overall, I'm still bullish on the commodities market and uranium is still one of them, all right? Uranium, uranium is still one of them. Uh, but the reason why I want to exit is because I actually entered this UEC based on a swing trade. Lah. Swing trade, meaning that I wanted to hold just for a few days to one to two weeks at most. Lah. But, you know, because I it was in my favor quite, <coughs> quite well. Lah. So, so I just decided to hold, lah, okay? So I think I write, I write uh, more than enough really, so I decided to exit, okay? Whereas for CCJ, for CCJ, all right, for CCJ, uh, Pauline wants your question, uh, I bought CCJ at quite a high price. Today, it seems there's a wash and risk based on the daily chart. Does it make sense to mark the name? Uh, Pauline, uh, if I'm not mistaken, based on what you have written, it seems that you are a beanie student am i right that's why you know about the wash and rinse huh so let's take a look uh let me see uh, uh yes all right so today there is a wash and rinse okay today there's a wash and rinse okay so this is a wash bar let me see let me see uh, i think no Let me see the low over here. The low is 16.2, low is 15.94. No, there's no wash and rinse, okay? There's no wash and rinse, okay? There's no wash and rinse. Uh, Pauline, I repeat, uh, there is no wash and rinse yesterday. This is not a wash bar. Uh, so this is not a wash bar, right? This is not a wash bar. So today is not a rinse bar also, okay? So uh, for CCJ, I'm still holding on. For CCJ, I'm using options to express my bullishness. So the date to expiry is until next year, January. So I still have uh, some time left. So I'm still, in, still holding on to CCJ for, for, for the long term. Okay, I'm still holding on all right, for CCJ, but I'm using options. Lah, okay, I'm using options to express my trade. All right. So I hope that answer your question. And for CCJ, of course, uh, the trend right now, it is still on an uptrend, just that price 
broke below the CPR. So it tells me that the uptrend is weakening. Uptrend is weakening doesn't mean there is a downtrend. Okay. So as I mentioned, in a daily time frame, uh, the last line of defense is the S1 level. It's also S1 level. Huh? So right now it's not at S1 level, it didn't break below the cloud also. On the weekly time frame, it is still very much in an uptrend. So this is uh, on a weekly time frame. This is much a very uh, normal consolidation to me. So nothing much for concern. Also, okay, all right. So I think there. Are, let me talk about some of my position that I have. XOP. All right. This is uh, I'm a little bit, a little bit concerned for oh, XOP. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> So again, you know, uh, initially I was bullish on the energy and gas. So price actually uh, do a kind of a ABC downward move. Huh? So it seems like price is at the S1 level today, tune tune at the S1 level and then rebounded. Huh? <coughs> so <clears throat> I entered XOP. So this, uh, you know, uh, sell off, you know, this pullback also not easy to tahan, huh? but part and parcel, part and parcel. Okay. So it is common because if I look at the weekly time frame, all right, it is still very much in a uptrend also. So this is a very uh, large impulse move. So this pullback still looks normal to me. It still looks normal to me. So I'm still holding on to my XOP trade. For XOP, I'm also using options to express my trade. All right. So this is a little bit underwater right now. All right. So just to update you in case you are thinking why I'm holding on, in case, in case you are wondering if whether I'm still holding on to my SOP, to my UEC or to my uh, Tesla and all this. Huh? So I just, some of this position that you know, I mentioned in my Facebook Live, I'll let you know, okay? Yeah, so for Paulina, you ask why there's no CCJ. Uh, I don't know, no CC, C, why there's no uh, wash and rinse. Uh. I want to say, it, but this is a public group. I don't want to reveal too much about the wash and rinse. Huh? So today it's not a wash. Huh? Today it's not a wash. Okay, I just tell you today it's not a wash. If you want me to explain, right? Uh, message me. Okay, message me or email me. Then I explain to you more. So by right by now you should be able to understand more about the wash and rinse. Because I think Bini already uh, talked about for a few uh, tutorials already, right? A few webinars already. You still don't really get it, it right? So uh, if you still don't really get it, all right. Uh, do message me by, by uh, via Facebook Messenger or email me. I'll be more than happy to just assist you for yeah to tell you how to spot the wash and rinse. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> any question so far? All right, I'll answer uh, one or two more questions. Okay, uh. Try not to ask me individual stocks uh, because once this kick start individual stocks, uh, then uh, there's no end to it. Uh, okay. So ask me about the broad market or whatever, you know, concepts or whatever things, you know, whether the, the kind of stuff. Uh, don't ask me about individual stocks. If there's no question, they'll end my session today. So just a recap again. Uh, so for today, all right. So I focus on the tobacco stocks, right? Because the tobacco stocks, US may curb the nicotine. Focus on the Philip Morris and the Outrier. All right. So my, my stand is that, you know, even if you curb nicotine in the cigarettes, right? People will just buy more cigarettes. And if you curb more, people might want to go into the black market. All right. If you talk about this uh, Outrier, my main focus for today. All right. Uh, price is at the S1 level. It is at a very good support level. So I think that was a good buy. All right, but you want you want to take note if you are just entering based on a swing trade, right? Uh, the earnings is coming up on the 29th of April. That's it's like coming very soon in just a few days' time. All right, if you're holding for long term, I think it's a good candidate you can consider. All right, and there's this uh, ETF called the Vice Vice ETF over here. Very interesting ETF. All right, you can just take a look at ETF.com slash Vice. Okay, and then you go to this uh, chart again, uh, Vice. All right. It has been trending very well. So, so this is just a, some trade ideas for you to take a look, right? Whether how do you want to trade it is entirely up to you. Okay. 
So whatever I say today is just it's no recommend recommendation for me to tell you what to buy or sell. Huh? So if there's uh HSI, HSI, okay, last question for today. Since we call uh, Kai, sorry, Kai asked, right? HSI. HSI, uh still bullish lah. Okay. I think by now you should know how to read if you have been following me long enough, huh? All right, price is up is above. The cloud is at above the CPR, so it is still bullish to me. Weekly time frame, all right, it still look a pretty uh normal correction to me. Now. See, uh, impulse move up, and then there's a pullback. It is pretty uh, normal, all right. Yeah, I think if you look at Fibonacci, if you look at that, I think this is about thirty eight point two percent. I think that kind of reach, not not even half lah. So it is still a pretty uh standard normal pullback to me based on the weekly time frame. Okay, so. Still not a cause for concern for the main indices, okay? For HS, has HSI, okay? So, yeah, I think that's all for today. It's getting late already. 12 a.m. in the in the morning, all right? So, yeah, so that's all for today. Uh, I will see you guys, I think, maybe on next week already. Uh, so, it's towards the end of the week already, okay? So, yeah. Thank you guys. Have a good night and I will see you guys again soon. Right? 大家晚安, okay? Bye bye.